everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining us on today's video. I just want to take a second, especially here, because, you know, we've had a lot of Z28s roll through here, and there are expert opinions on these cars because, because they're, so, uh, they're so sought after, especially in their original and originality and the form of them, how detailed, how uh, stock are they? Because, you know, as we kids, we rip things off of cars so they would go faster. Uh, not that you could get a Z28 with air conditioning, but air conditioning in other cars was the first thing we ripped off. Small equipment we ripped off. However, all of those things like, uh, you know, and then being able to keep documentation and things like that in your, in your uh, desk for 40, 50, 60 years and still go with the car each time, which is amazing. So anyway, this is that car. This is that car. This is exactly what we're talking about today. This is a McNeese certified car, whether you agree with McNeese or not on his uh, values, opinions, or what have you. Uh, clearly, he is an authority. And in this case here, uh, the report was paid for to have him come personally inspect this car. It comes with that, which is really cool. And it shows all of the great things about this car, including it comes with a small equipment. We've we have that in the trunk in a box. Whether you want to install that or not, that's kind of up to you. Let us know that, but I just wanted you to know it comes with it. It won't be in the video and the pictures today, but at least you'll know that that's part of the whole package as well as that big folder of documentation too, all right? First thing I like to start off with is Garnet paint. Man, Garnet red paint is so good looking. We're talking about white stripes, right? Look how it pops with the, uh, the white letter tires as well. And when we look around here, forget the fact that the paint is beautiful and the interior is beautiful. When we open the hood, like you might want to go to a car show, looks super authentic underneath. All right, so this is an original Garnet red coated car. I just, uh, first off, I love the color because it looks so good out in the sunlight and bright lights, like if you go to a car show at night or something, it looks great. One of the things that you need to look for is the striping, right? So is the striping clear coated overnight? You say, Tone, isn't, aren't all the stripes clear coated? You say, no, they're not because it's a shortcut. Here's how it works. You know, the body work and everything like that, that's the hard part. You and I can't do that. We could probably paint, but the body work is, is, is the hard part. This car has a beautiful body. However, the paint is laid over the primer, right? Wet sanded, right? Then the stripe uh, is put on, which means they had to tape off the rest of the car, spray that, wet sand and make it smooth. Then they clear over the whole car. So it's a whole nother step. And the reason why is so this way you don't feel the stripes. You can wash and wax the car as much as you want, right? Without tearing the edges of the stripes. It keeps it looking nice. It's an extra step. It costs more money. And that's what you get when you get a car like this. All right, so uh, let's take a peek in here. Some of the things you should be looking for, you know, I'm, uh, I'm telling you of things that some people know and some people don't know. I just review everything just in case some people don't know and they can learn a little something from it. I'm sure there's people out there who know way more about a Z28 than I do. I know a little bit about a lot of cars. I don't know everything about every car, which would be impossible. But in this case here, I do know this. This has on it uh, the correct GM hoses. This has on it the tower clamps. This has on it the battery topper. It has on it uh, the detailed uh, pieces that go around here. It comes with the smog equipment as well, but however, this car has the headers, which would have come from uh, nine times out of 10, they would have come in the trunk from um, uh, the dealer, right? And you could install them there. And then I look around and I see things like, you know, nicely fresh colored wires, not like old trusty wires wrapped in old electrical tape that was, you know, under your grandma's cabinet. Like this car has been detailed. It's been detailed properly. The flapper works in the, in the cow induction here. You know what? 99% of these cars don't even have the door in there, let alone the flapper working the way it's supposed to. The McNeese, the McNeese report, right, tells us what we have as well. Forget what I have to say, because I don't know anything. But the McNeese report, the expert, will tell you all of the details saying that this is a matching numbers piece here. This is a correct date coded piece here. This is correct. This is authentic. And that's what we get. Like we don't have, you know, uh, fiberglass pieces anywhere, real steel pieces, real detail stuff, decals, horns, turn signals, like all that stuff's all here and working. Power disc brakes, right? And power steering. Not all that stuff was standard. Disc brakes were, but not power steering and not power brakes. All right, so we move up into uh, this part here. Are the stripes done correctly? Yes, they are done correctly where they stop here and they don't go in the trunk lid. That's actually a, a correct way to do this, where they're here and here and not done uh, there. But more stuff and more importantly inside here, right? It's not squeaky. This has the correct rod in it. Do you know that most of the cars come with two different positions for the rod in here or the correct rod. And the rod determines whether the car came from the factory with a spoiler or not. If it didn't come with a factory spoiler, the rod wouldn't be strong enough to hold up a car with a spoiler and the, and the trunk would never stay up. 
this is a good indication showing you, right? Even though that the Z28 came that way with the D80 package uh, that you got all that. Anyway, back on to other stuff. Detailed, spare tire, jack, right? Jacking instructions, all of this stuff in here uh, is painted in detail. You say the tone, why would you spend this much time talking about uh, a spare tire and a jack? Well, I'm gonna tell you this because most of the cars we get, if not almost all of the cars we get, never have anything in the trunk. No jack, no spare tire, no uh, instructions. And here, when you see a complete trunk like this, if you want to go to a car show, all you need to do is open the trunk. And it's really, really nice to be able to show off the car that way. Okay, let's get in real quick. That's an annoying noise, and that's actually a great noise, and I'll show you why when we get inside for a second, but I want you to hear this. Like, that's a restored door. Somebody spent a lot of time doing all that, all right? That right there, that noise is the key in buzzer. How annoying is that, right? But it's correct, and the fact that somebody spent the time to make all that work potentially says that this is a better car than others because of all of that detail thing. Original AM radio. This is a factory gauge car, right? Not all of this stuff is standard, you guys. It's, a lot of stuff is not standard. This has a factory tack. This has a clock. The clock is working. Well, Tone, isn't the clock supposed to work? Yes, of course it's supposed to work, but 99% of them don't work. They didn't work a year after the car was new. The fact that this does work says that, you know what? Maybe this is a little nicer car restored than others. Factory gauges right here with the console. Seat belts in it. Correct seat belts with the GM plugged into where they're supposed to be, right? Nice rosewood wheel, real deal, four speed, smooth, the correct ball here without the shift pattern. Why shouldn't the shift pattern be on here? Because the shift pattern's on the console and you don't want to find a car with it on here and here because that would be redundant and the factory would not do that. And then you can always have this. That noise says I'm a little more restored. All right, so let's close up the video here. I've uh, rambled about some details, but the documentation, the video, the test drive, the pictures, that's giving you a package of a car that's authentic. You know, how many of these are left with matching numbers, right? This motor was a great engine, but a lot of them were blown up along the way. The fact that you have an authority authenticate the car, you have somebody who's willing to spend the time and go over the quality of paint and detail and things like that. Just these little kinds of things add a little something. And I don't know, just a cool, cool car. One of the best Z28s we've ever had. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. tell you all about this 69Z28. Don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends if you would, please, and if you would like it down there at the bottom there. And also, if you want to subscribe to our channel, we put out videos all the time, and you get all the fresh stuff right away. Thanks.